Okay, I'm going to talk about file referencing as it applies to HTML. And I've created a folder there, public HTML. And let's have a look inside of this folder. Right, so we've got two more folders, one called images and one called pages. And I've also got two files, one called London JPEG and the other page one.html. And let's have a look at the code for page one. As you can see, it's fairly basic. We've got an image tag there, a source attribute, and also an alt attribute with the text London I, just in case the image doesn't appear. And the name of the file, London I, an extension, .jpg. that's all fairly basic. And what that says is that you've got an image in the same location as the HTML web page. So that's that kind of file referencing that's fairly basic and it should work let's have a look at the actual page and there it is there's the image but if you have a look at this folder structure it looks a bit messy we want to place images into an images folder and the pages obviously want to go into a pages folder so let's move that London eye into the images folder and there it goes and if you have a look at the web page again let me press F5 to refresh and as you can see the image doesn't appear just the alt text for London Eye and the reason why it didn't appear is because we didn't specify that images folder we've moved the image into an images folder but in the code we missed it out so let's type in images images and forward slash so all that means is look for a folder called images and then look for an image called London Eye. Let me save that one. Save. And if you have a look, I said find to refresh, and there we go, the image reappears. Now, oops, I don't know. Right, so let's have a look at the folder again. And I want to place this file into the pages folder. Let me move that one, and I'm going to do just to reopen the code for this one. As I just moved it, I'm going to send to Notepad. And let me just double click it as well just to open up this web page. All right, so as you can see, the image doesn't appear again. So let's look at the code and see why. So we specified an images folder, but the problem is in the same folder, that's a pages folder, where we've got the web page, we haven't got an images folder. So that images folder is simply not in the pages folder. It's actually a folder up. So there's the pages. And it's you go back here and you can see it's one folder up from the pages folder. Um, so how do you specify one folder up? Well, you do it by simply typing two dots and a forward slash. Now the code reads, move a folder up and then look for a folder called images and then look for the image, londonine.jpg. Let me save that one. Uh, hopefully, bring up the web page again, press refresh. And there we go, the images reappeared. So, file referencing. Let me see if we can do something a little more trickier. <clears throat> right, so we're going to the pages folder. I suppose you had a folder there, lessons, and we've got, I've already created a page there, page two. So, for the image is now not one folder up, two folders up. So there's the images folder, there's the image there. There's the pages folder and there's a lessons folder. Let me have a look at the code for page two. Right, so there's the code now. If you want to move two folders up, you need two sets of these. So there's the first one, dot dot forward slash, that moves. That means move one folder up and we've got one, two dots and a forward slash again, which moves means move another folder up. So move one folder up, move two folders up, have a look for a folder called images, 
and then look for the image under Nigel.jpg. Let me save that just in case it didn't work. Yeah, we'll have a look, let's have a look at this. And there we go, there's the image in page two. Let's repeat. So, file referencing can be a little bit tricky, but it's at the heart of everything you need on your web page, such as style sheets, JavaScript files, links. They all need this kind of file referencing. If you simply place all your pages and all your images in the same folder then you can just have this kind of thing but if you want to be neat and tidy then you need to create separate folders to place all of your resources into so there we go that's file referencing